I feel like we can't talk about acids without highlighting the trio of acids that go into Serum 71 and why it makes it so amazing. Of course. So can we talk about that for a minute? Sure, absolutely. And I'll, I'll expand a little bit. So um, Dr. Fulton, actually, again, um, he and my grandfather, the, the interesting story about Dr. Fulton um, and, and Dr. Kligman, they actually, uh, Dr. Fulton worked with Dr. Kligman when they introduced vitamin A, retinoic acid, um, many, many years ago, and that research was being done back in the 60s, but my grandfather was actually a student at Penn University when Dr. Kligman was the head of the dermatology department. So he was actually one of my grandfather's uh, professors many, many years ago. So they all knew each other very well, and in fact, I was at Dr. Kligman's 90th birthday party uh, sitting at a table with all of these, you know, giants of the industry, uh, um, Dr. Fulton, uh, Howard Maybach, George Preddy, uh, Charlie Fox, all these guys that are just like legends of, of cosmetic chemistry and, and got to meet and talk with all of them. So very, very fortunate to, to, to grow up in that time. Um, but it was a conversation that my grandfather and Dr. Fulton were having and he said, hey, what, what should we be looking at right now? And my grandfather actually said, well, mandelic acid is this new thing. And uh, sure enough, they started working on uh, uh, some conversations and, and next thing we knew that you know, Dr. Fulton's got these amazing products that contain mandelic acid. So, uh, and of course, we started doing some development at the same time, but he really spearheaded the research and development on combining mandelic, benzoyl peroxide, and uh, vitamin A together. But um, the newest launch of the product, Serum 71, contains mandelic, uh, azelaic acid and tranexamic acid together in a very specific percentage that is not just good for relatively mild exfoliation, regular exfoliation, but also incredible for treating hyperpigmentation, multiple different types of pigmentation issues. So again, you get the benefit of mandelic acid helping to treat with the pigment, but also those challenges for different types of acne. Azelaic acid, very widely recognized now for treating hyperpigmentation, but also very good for treating uh, sensitive skin as well. If you look at some higher concentrations of azelaic acid, it's also available in a prescription strength for treating rosacea. And then tranexamic acid, I would say was probably the newest, the new kid on the block when it comes to acids as far as treating hyperpigmentation. And that too has a very, very interesting story as far as how it's sourced um, and how it differs a little bit in its activity as a tyrosinase inhibitor. Um, really fascinating stuff, but the combination of those together, just really a knockout uh, product. Yeah, and I think that is part of what just makes Serum 71 such an exciting product. I, I mean, we consider it an essential product for everyone because there's almost no one that can't use it. And I think it's really exciting to have a product that caters to also the sensitive skin types, that sometimes products are a little too active or aggressive for them, so they miss out on some of the benefits of some of these ingredients, but this formulation makes it great for them too. So I, we'd be remiss if we didn't talk about Serum 71 for when sure. we talk and, about acid. And the responses that we've got since the launch, we launched it in the spring, have just been overwhelmingly positive. I mean, and we've, you know, our educational forum where we have estheticians from all over the world sharing their experiences and the use of the product and different protocols. Um, I mean, literally all over the world, people are sharing their results, their before and afters of using it with different combinations of different protocols, both home care and in the treatment room. And we're just blown away. I mean, it's just incredible how effective that product really is.